What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Guys, today we have crazy, crazy content, I mean not content, but for you, it's considered content. Um, we found new MT method. I found the best MT method ever. Um, it's gonna make you guys a ton of MT. Listen, I, I'm broke. Okay, I bought most of my team. I am broke. I'm gonna work my MT today. I got uh, I'm off day today. I'm gonna grind. But yeah, guys, as per usual, drop twenty thousand MT in the comments for a chance at winning twenty thousand MT. Videos gotta hit forty likes. It's not a lot of likes, bro. We've been hitting thirty five almost every video. So make sure to smash that like button. We're very close to that like goal. Somebody on Xbox One will win 40,000 MT. So make sure to hit that like button. So I was, um, yesterday I was actually during a video and I found a really good MT method. You guys might know it, you might not. But uh, we're going to go over a bunch of players. Um, and I'm going to show you why to make a ton of MT. And I mean a ton. Before we get into it, let's pop a pack. Let's pray that we get Luca. And, um, let's see. And there it goes. Wow. Okay. Um, pack luck, as per usual, doo-doo, never good, never, ever good. Let's add this to my boys. Let's see, who should we add it to? Let's add it to Sean Kemp, because I can't sell him. All right, so let's get into it. This this method's the best method in the game. Personally, it's actually money. I was actually looking at it yesterday, and I was like, I missed this method? All right, so pretty much, all it is is moments of the week, and I'm going to show you right here. So if you guys do not remember... This Brandon Ingram was 40k, literally when he came out. Look at his price, he's 80k. So now, let's check out the rubies, let's check out the sapphires. This method is the best MT method in the game. This card is also expensive. He was about 800 coins, he's now 3k. Now think about this, these cards are all out of packs. Now, I cannot sell any of them, unfortunately. But, I do have these over here. Now... I will not be doing this set because it is a waste of MT in my opinion and because these cards are around 150k each and you get a pink diamond lillard, yeah it's cool but uh, yeah you guys understand. But if you haven't realized all these cards, they're going to go up in value, yes they're out of packs, moments of week 4 is out. Um, peep this Jonathan Isaac, he's going to go around for a 4k, I got him for about 1, this con Sexton is going to be pretty decent, oh he's actually not expensive. But as you guys know, as the weeks go on, they go up in price. So let's check out this set. This was two weeks ago. We're on moments of the week four. I have these cards stacked up so far. <sighs> Ready? Want to see Brogan's price? Oh, he's not even on the auction. So right there, you could pick up maybe 80k. Jason Tatum, let's check out his price. He's around 70-ish k. Literally, he was at 40k. Um, let's check out Toby. He's at 9k. He was at 5k when I got him. Let's check out Al. About 6k. So I'm saying about, wait about two weeks. That might be the method, okay? I would say about two weeks. This Aaron Baines is rocking around four. He was literally one, maybe even 900. Wendell Carter Jr. rocking it. He's not that expensive. It's just pretty much if you buy the whole set or if you notice that some of the cars, like some of the rare rubies, some of the rare emeralds, some of the rare sapphires in the set, they usually go up a lot more. Like, this is the rare emerald. He's around 2, 3. If you guys, like, understand what I'm saying, you literally just have to get the cards, wait it out, and you will make thousands of MT. The biggest, this is the best set right here. The Tatum and the Brogdon. Like, the fact that there's no Brogdon on the market is literally insane. And the fact that Tatum's still 70k, he went up so much. If you guys don't remember, one of my, one of my videos, I did the Luka set. And then they all dropped a ton because of the market crash. Literally, it's such a good time. Like, I missed out. Let's check out if there's actually no Brogdon's. Let's see. Yeah, there's actually no Brogdon. So, if you picked up Brogdon for 40k and you waited literally a week and a half, you're literally set. Like, literally, if you picked him up, you could possibly sell him for around 80k, maybe even 100k if you're lucky. But yeah, you get Diamond Luka. There is a new Diamond Luka, but yo, think about it, man. These cars are 50, 40K. They're up 20,000. Brogdon is literally up, I don't know. He was at 40K. You could sell him probably for 80. Like, he's up like 30K clean. 
Um, these emeralds are up triple. Like you gotta, go, you get them for nine hundred, and now they're rocking around like four. Um, these sets are money. This one right here, uh, team moments of the week one. This one is crazy. This one was stupid cheap. Brandon Ingram was rocking around forty. Same with SGA, and uh, he's a hundred k. So if you literally hold on to some of these cards, which I will actually try out. Like personally, let me see. This card right here is not a bad card to hold on to. Why? Because he's so cheap. He's like super cheap. But the only problem is he's kind of not, he's not rare at all. There's like no rarity in him. So like realistically in these sets, you would probably want to hold on to the Wiggins. Or you would probably want to hold on to one of these diamonds. Like for instance, D-Book was around 70-ish, 80-ish. He's rocking around 90-ish. D-Rust was at 100k buy now not too long ago. He's rocking around, where is D-Rust? Um, what well, wrong one? D Russ is rocking around 113, but he just sold for like 140, 150. He was at like a 100k buyout. So, realistically, now since it was Amethyst is the rarest, now it is the two diamonds. So, pretty much to make the most MT off this, it is you need to get the two top cards and wait on it. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but you could try to find like, all right, this card is, in my opinion, the rare sapphire in the set. Why? Because if you look at his stats, everyone's going to use his card. He's like a budget baller. He's a defensive beast, and he can shoot. So if you see this card, like, if like he's going to be rare, okay? So now I actually have one myself. He's going for around 5. I'll be keeping mine because I love him. But I got him for around 1K. Now, these, like this Sapphire, he's decent. He's not going to be that expensive. You're going to have to, like, really think about... It's also about, like, the hype in the community, like this OG is not this guy's not rare. If you pulled one of these packs, you'll literally pull him every time. He's not rare either. But Isaac is kind of hard to pull, so he his rarity is a little higher. So he's gonna go for more expensive value. This guy right here is around one thousand. He's probably rocking around two. He went up about a thousand. Let's check out Harold. I don't know his price exactly, but I'm pretty sure he was around nine hundred. And yeah, everyone pretty much went up from this set already. It's literally hasn't, what has it been, like three days? It's only been three days. If you want an extra week, I bet you these cards will be washed. But the only problem is, it's like further down the road, we could see a possible moment of the week, like like every every single pack in the like game. We could see like a ton of packs come out, like moments of the week four, moments of the week one, two, three, all in packs. That's the only thing that scares me. But if it doesn't come out, which I don't think it will, we could make a lot of MT off this. And personally, this literally is the best MT method in the game. This is why I like it. So let's say you picked up my Devin Booker for like 60, 70. He's going for around 90, 100. Um, you literally could use these cards. That's what's good about this. So you pick them up. You use the cards. You could, They're usable cards. It's not like they're trash. Like if I picked up this D-Ross, he would slide into my six man probably. He would be my sixth man. I love D'Angelo Russell. He's a point guard. That's money. So literally, I would pick him up, use him for a week or two, try him out, do solos with him, abuse the card, wait till he goes up like 50k. Literally, he went up so much. Wait until he goes up to 50k, sell him, make your MT. It's super simple. This method is absolute money. And honestly, uh, this Bojan, I don't know. This guy right here, it could be good. He's just so... If you see this many cards up on the auction, it's just not a good thing. Like, if you just look at this right here, there's not a lot on the auction. Like, it's money. And this this same with Giannis. Like, there's so many. The rarity of this Giannis is crazy. There's just none on the auction. Once you see the rarity of, like, nothing, it, it just means that the price will stay the same or go up with that. It's pretty much what it means. You just got to know the rarity of cards. You got to know how many cards are on the auction. Pretty much, you can just follow my videos. I pretty much just go over the market and rarities of cards all the day. But uh, you know what? We're going to use our last 7,000 MT on a pack. If we pull something, we do. We probably won't. But let's see. Also, if you guys want to see a pack opening... Oh, my goodness. If you guys want to see a pack opening, let me know. Because I really, really want to go on a pack opening. I Look, I have the sale. I'll show you right now. We got the VC sale going. We got content dropping tomorrow, and honestly, I'm tempted to buy this right here. If you guys want to see a pack opening, smash that like button. Let me know, because I'm so, so tempted. I have the money in the bank. I'm ready to freaking ball out and lose. MC. I'm ready to lose my money and uh, get nothing in this game. So, yeah, let me know if you want to see it. We might do a giant bundle tomorrow. 
I'm really feeling this new content. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this MT making method. Let me know if it helps you out. And shout out to one of my subs because one of my subs actually told me about this method. So yeah, guys, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content in about two to three hours. Peace out, people.